Hi, hello, and howdy. This is Sheila, and welcome to the Painted Peak Studio. Uh, today, I'm going to attempt to make a couple of things for you. Um, <clears throat> and so, let's cross our fingers, say our prayers, because you know how fumble fingers are, uh, uh, what fumble fingers I have. Uh, now, first, I would like to say a big thank you to my friend Monica. She uh, hosted my sister and I yesterday. Uh, we had quite a time. And my sister and Monica were in the same grade in school. I was a great head. Yeah, I'm the older. But um, Monica and I both have August birthdays. So I made a little uh, goodie bag for her. Um, of craft craft goodies and uh, she gave me this very pretty picker you know one of the I mean it's fancy um, and I, I mean I've got one but it doesn't hold a candle to that I mean look <laughs> So, I might just toss this, because I don't think it's got a lot of the sticky left anyway. But, um, that is really nice. I thank you so much for that, Monica. And, she got me some lotion. Uh, Shea and Vitamin E. Yay! <laughs> That's going to be good for my skin. Uh, and some homemade peach preserves. I mean, pear preserves, which I cannot wait to dig into uh, for my 10 o'clock break. I'm going to have some toast with pear preserves and a cup of tea. Now, are you ready for the ultimate cuteness? <laughs> I don't know where she could have gotten this, but it's a USB plug. And the the piggy covers it. Is that not the cutest thing? It happened to be the first thing I pulled out of the bag, too, and I was just like blown away. So, thank you once again, Monica. We had a lovely time yesterday, ate at a really good restaurant, and um, shared some tales of old old times, and and <laughs> and totally lost my sister when. Monica and I began talking about craft stuff, and I got to see some of her journal making, and I wish, I wish she'd do a channel, or, or maybe we could figure out how to do one of those lives. That would be great. She, in her town, we're about two hours away, so that would be terrific if we could do a live together. Okay, here's the thing. Um, this was a sh belly band shaker that Melina Pilot did, and I will link uh, that video below. And I might have, uh, I've got the the measurements correct, or uh, her in the neighborhood. Uh, but I tell you what, her measurements were. She did it. Two inches this way and six inches this way. Well, six would be too big for uh, Josie. So, I cut mine at two inches by five. Well, actually, let me take that back. I did, that's what it is. I was supposed to have done it two and a half, probably. And I did do it five and a half because you score a quarter inch in on each side. Now, on this, I see I sort of slanted the corners and uh, folded it in a little bit different, but I think this is perfectly fine to do it this way. I've got a piece of acetate that I don't know where I, that was just loose. I don't know what it came out of, where it belongs, but I just found that piece and so I was going to use it. Now, Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventure gave me a great idea to use these bags. But, of course, this one wouldn't have been long enough. 
but she uses these bags. Um, I'll try to link that video below so you can see uh, her explanation and probably get a better idea of what she does with them. But this would be great to make a, a shaker card or a shaker something out of because your bag's made. All you got to do is glue your paper on it, you know, and there you have it. So, I am going to use this paper. And I think I will make it a little bit wider. No, I'm not going to do that because I do like that size, I believe. So, I'm going to use my little guillotine trimmer here and cut a two inch strip by, let's see, do it this way, I can see it a little bit better. I don't know if you can, but I'm going to cut it at five and a half. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. So keep the scraps, of course, and then I hope that's going to fit this. I think it will. It should. And <clears throat> so um, the next step, I have to get my big old scoreboard out. I might invest in one of those small ones because it's a bit of a hassle to bring this one out. What, oh, what to do with my thing? I just had it, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those. <laughs> Let's see if this will work. So, as you can see, it's five and a half inches long. So, I'm going to score in. No, that's not going to work. Let me get my... Uh, stylus tool. Okay. That's going to worry me where that went. Okay, so it's five and a half. So I'm going to score. I'm going to score. Not I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm going to score at a quarter inch and then turn it this way and score it this quarter inch, which will be one and three quarters. Okay, so far so good. And so we're back to the five and a half mark. So we'll, we'll uh, score at five and a quarter. And I hope I can see this good. I'm done. And then back around here to one and three quarters. I'm going kind of slow because I don't want to, I want to stay in the track. Well, either I didn't cut my paper quite straight, or I didn't score it quite straight, but it's it's going to be fine. So, let me put this away. i look for my bone folder that goes in it later. Anyway, so, I'm just going to press along the score lines. And as you can see on this one, I've got three sides glued. Now, to me, and I think that's what Melina used, the optimal for this kind of thing would be, <gasps> I just saw it. Well, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. I hope I'm not in the shot. <laughs> Is this score tape? And uh couldn't find it before, so I used glue. So as you can see, art glitter glue works perfectly well too. And then you just pour your sequins in there. So I think this is going to be really cute in the Josie Journal. I'm on. I'm going to only make one though. I'm not going to make one for each. Um, signature, because I don't want it too samey same, you know. And, uh, 
there will be some one of's in each signature. So, now then, I'm going to cut it the way I did there because I think that turned out just fine. So, you've seen this done before, I'm sure. We're going to cut out those corners to take away that bulk. So, it'll be a flatter result. And I hope I can cut more. Good. So, what are you guys watching? I've, I've watched a couple of things on uh, streaming TV. I finally began watching Yellowstone, but that show's a bit hard to watch sometimes. Yeah, it's rough on animals, and people don't fare too good either sometimes. So, I don't know how long I'll watch it, but... Okay. Now we have, we put on our tape. And I know this is double-sided. And I think that's okay that there's no image on the inside. Don't you? I think that would be fine. Because that way the sequins may show up a bit better. So here we go with our, our double-sided score tape. And I hate it when, you know, do you have pet peeves as far as uh, YouTube videos, um, speech patterns that bother you? Sometimes, yeah. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure my speech pattern bothers people sometimes. <laughs> it bothers me sometimes. I really, like so many, you know, just cannot stand the sound of my voice, so. I hope there's some of you out there that don't mind so much. And as I've gotten older, it's gotten deeper and hoarser. I have a, <laughs> well, I can't even tell. Um, I have allergies, as we know. And, um. I was a smoker for a while, not anymore, but now I have, um, and I've had, have a lot of acid reflux, this is TMI to the max, huh, uh, I have a lot of acid reflux, so that does irritate my throat, and, um, plus it's very dry from some of the medication I take, which is the reason I cough. <laughs> and you guys have heard that and uh, until I learned how to edit. Okay, so we've got our score tape. And let me just make sure this is going to fit in there. Because I think my first one was a little fat. I think this will fit fine that way. But I need to take just a, if I can see it, just a wee bit off the end. How's that? Just a sliver more. Oh, in my hands, it could be more than a sliver. Okay. See if that sliver was enough. Yeah, that's fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Wish I could find my all. <laughs> that was such a good little tool. <clears throat> this does the same thing, but that just fit so nicely in my hand, and it was given to me by my friend Margaret, and it belonged to her grandmother, so there was some sentimental there. I'm sure it's here somewhere. I don't know why I'm starting with that, but that that's fine. Uh, but I just wish I could find it, because it was such a helpful... A helpful tool. I'll go ahead and get this one too. Now I'm not going to take the um, backing off of this yet because I, I don't want my sequins to stick to it. And as you can see I did not um, 
cut the corners the way you would for your journal. And you certainly can. You certainly could. But, uh, and, and do so if you want to. Okay, so I'm up to this point now. I have set aside some sequins. Let's see if I've got too many. And I went with the color theme, of course, pretty much. Oops, there's a piece of paper. Come here. <clears throat> I've got to dig this. I can't see it now. Oh, there, there it is. A piece of paper out. Okay. Must have had some flying paper earlier. Oh, paper chip. Okay, hold your mouth right, Sheila, and uh, got most of them. And I think that's going to be plenty. I don't know. I think it hurt to put these few more in there. And I'm going to get some of these that Shell the Rambling Crafter sent me with my order. My um, ink blender order. There are some little sequins in there, along with some bling. Let me see. Let's see if I can just get the little sequins. I want more. I want more, please. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so we have our little shaker pocket ready. Shaker belly band, excuse me. And I will just take this tape off. She said so confidently. And then all you do is fold that flap in. And you can fancy that up any way you want to. Are we leaking? <laughs> I don't think so. But that will I think that will look pretty good in Josie. Let me see if I can burnish that down just a little bit. It wants to kind of pucker up. So, there we go. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you, and I've sh you've seen this before, it's just a sort of a new way of doing it. It may have gotten just a bit brighter then because I had to turn the fan on. It gets a little warm as it gets up in the morning here. Into the morning. Okay, so we'll put that in the box. I have these double-sided corner tucks for Josie. I've already got that one side of that one done. And I was going to I was going to put this butterfly over that one because I didn't like that one as, as much as it turns out. So I'm going to do that first. While I'm thinking of it, and you can, if you want to craft along, you can get some things together. You can get an envelope, any size really, uh, as long as it's big enough to fit over the corner of your page. There we go. I'll put glue there. And, um, you'll want some digital or thin kind of scrapbook paper. You don't want it too, too thick. Okay. Now, I'm going to be working with an envelope or showing you two different ones. Um, this is what a number 10 
Uh, it's nine and a half long by four and an eighth wide. Now, I'm going to measure this. You don't have to. And I didn't with mine. I will tell you that right, right away. I did not with mine. But you certainly can. Um, if you want it more precise. And I'm going to go down two and a half that way. And two and a half that way. I'm going to do this on my little trimmer. You can do this with scissors if you're good or a craft knife. But Sheila going to do it that way. Now I can see that that is not as big as I wanted it to be. But the good thing about envelopes are <laughs> they've got four corners. <laughs> So, I think that needs to be, yeah, it needs to be at least three, I believe. Well, make a little room. So, I'm going to measure at three that way. And three that way. Let's see what happens. Got it there. Now try to cut it right, Sheila. Okay. That's fine. It may not be quite as big. And you know what? I could have measured these, couldn't I? But um but that one was just like three and three sixteenths, actually. So it's fine. And I'm going to get some scrap paper. Or, um, yeah. That, and I want some that's not too thick. Okay, what I'm going to do is use this, um, with some really grungy, uh, shorthand, a page out of a shorthand book. So, and I had to try to it's been a minute since I did these, so I had to <laughs> go through and try to remind myself. So I'm going to glue it about midway in the page. And all you want to make sure of is that it's going to cover it when you fold it. Okay? And it does. So I'm going to go along the top. says again very confidently <laughs> and the whole thing let me get my finger in there okay and I'm going to glue that down right on the edge so Give me a second, art motor glue, please. Okay. There we go. Now, we have it open there where we want it. And let me make sure there's no stray glue in there. dot more right there maybe and then I'm going to fold side right in that right up next to that that corner and of course this has writing on it so hmm, it's going to be directional somewhat but I don't care this will not be this will not be going in Josie so it can be put aside for a more grungy type 
of journal. Okay. I think we're cooking with gas. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay. Looks a bit odd, but we're going to go with it. So now I'm just going to cut off this excess. Now what do you do, Sheila? And I think because... Hmm. I think I'm good, actually, but I'm going to have to be able to see. You know, this is not exactly how I did it. I don't remember exactly how I did it. To be true. Should have written the steps down, huh? Okay, I think we're good. I'm just going to tear that off. And... Go ahead and fold it so I know. There we go. There we go. I was off camera, which might have been a good thing for that particular time. All right. Just for a second, let's move that aside. Really good. So now you just don't cut what you already glued, though. Make sure you do not, you don't want to cut it open again. Okay. So, there we have our corner. And a little bit more. <laughs> okay, where's my two more? So there you have your double-sided corner pocket or corner tuck and uh, ready to decorate. So I've got this and I thought I would see how well it did for that and because it's blue A little bit more. I might not even cover it, actually. Let's see, where's my marks? And I might not even need to glue it shut. But that was uh, what I did with that envelope, as you can see. It's it's glued, glued shut. So any corner can be used, but you sort of lose, once you've cut two off, you sort of lose your options. <laughs> And there we go. So since I've shown you how to cover one, <laughs> I don't think there's enough of this to, to go, but in effect you could go there and have a seam. But I don't think I would want to. Now, 
I first saw these done by Tina Shabby Dabby Duda, and she had seen them done first by Henny Trump. Um, I think I linked both of them in my original video where I did Tina's version, uh, which basically, it was basically the same, but a little bit different, a little bit easier, I thought. And, um, so, uh, you can go to either, either channel. Um, I don't know if I can link the exact, um, video, but I'm sure they probably have it in a playlist. I really don't like how that looks now, but too late, too bad, so sad. Okay, and so my idea, I think, for this one was to glue this across. Uh, what's this little sucker for? So I'm going to do that, or, or that. I have no memory of these things, guys. I really need to make myself notes. Do I not? <coughs> but I'll forget. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, I think somewhere around there. Now... You could stitch these. Of course, it's going to take some of that uh, page corner room out. And these need to be on a page with a little bit of heft. And um, otherwise, you know, it's going to slump. Okay, let's see if I can get that. Stuck down. It's about time to get some more fabric tack, which is what I usually use whenever fabric or lace is involved. And if you've got one of those little silicone tools that's great to to press down this kind of open lace or fabric to your paper. I don't know why I left all that hanging off that side. <laughs> Could have saved a little bit. But that's just gonna go in my bits pile. And I've got a video ready to put up it's very short and it may have it may actually go up before this one but um i don't think it's very informative as far as i mean i just basically just say here this is what you do and that's it but um and that's pretty much what it is is it's just using four elements, and you know, I don't think I ever, ever actually said, but it's bits of lace, bits of fabric, bits of scrap paper, and some sort of ribbon or um, gauzy stuff. You could even use uh, something like a strip of paper, uh, tracing paper or vellum or whatever. That's what it is, you know, really up to you. And, um, stack them with just enough glue to just kind of keep them together. And, I don't know, I mean, well, this will work too. Just not quite as well. Um, And then you run a stitch down the middle if you if you desire. Otherwise, you're going to need more glue. But that's what I did, and I happen to have used a little decorative 
stitch. It was a little, looked like a little vine with leaves kind of thing. And I don't think this is a sticker. So, I believe this is one of the freebies. Um, Katie did. And I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know any more of her name than that. For, um, scrapbooking with me. Um, she is, my finger's cramping, she is one of their designers now, she and Betty, and she does not have a store, but if you go and sign up, go to scrapbookingwithme.com and sign up for the newsletter, um, periodically they put out freebie digitals, and I've gotten a lot of good ones from there, so you might want to. Okay, I'll stop there with that one. Um, I do have this that I think I was going to put on here. And I think it's the other way around. Yes, I think. I have put a bit more glue on it, it looks like. So I I eyelash I think eyelash trim. <clears throat> it's a little bit difficult to handle sometimes. So there's that one. Let's see what I had planned for this one. First I'm going to put a little ink on it. And we're using faded jeans, uh, distress oxide. Well, my husband cleaned out his hummingbird feeder, did I tell you? He had two or three of them at our old house that he kept kept up pretty pretty well. We had quite a few hummers. And we had started to see them here, and uh, he finally got guilty, felt guilty enough. Yeah, that's how I did that. That <laughs> he um, cleaned one out and fixed it for them. Uh, as you can see, the envelope on the inside. And I will say to you, this is pretty sturdy. With that envelope uh, inside, gives it a good bit of strength there. Now let's see what I had put out. Okay, hmm. I have no clue how I meant to do this. None. And you know how I am on camera with the decorating. Not not so good. I get stressed and then can't think of anything. <laughs> Squeaky chair. Okay, let's start. I may be doing something like that. And. Hmm. Maybe that. Yeah. And I think I'm going to use. Go back to the fabric tap for this. guesstimate where that lace is going to go. And I tell you what, sometimes um, you can use your glue stick and it do just as well or better for this very open weave type material or lace. Well, it's right here. <laughs> Somehow it ended up on the bottom. I'm just building on it. I work though. Okay. Now, put this sort of, and by the way, this has the Nouveau Crystal Glaze on it. I do believe it could be glossy accents. So I might have done this before I got the glaze. Um, now, for sure, let's see where I was going to put this. 
and it, they can, it, they don't have to be elaborate. I mean, you know, this is going to be kind of simple. Yeah, this is going to be kind of simple. Okay, so I'm just going to set that right in there. I might have to end up putting a weight on that. takes just, Fabri-Tac grabs pretty good, but it takes just a minute on something that dimensional. And yeah, I might have to put extra down. I might have put a weight on that, but we'll go ahead and do the other side. Um, as I have explained before, but for some of you who might be new, um, I'm using a very old Canon Sure Shot, and it is uh, it's a bit of a <laughs> uh, jury rigged type setup. I think, there goes my finger again. I think I will put it to this side just a bit. And I really don't know what kind of camera to buy, to tell you the honest truth. So I think I'm just going to get a new phone <laughs> and start filming on it. Let's see, how did I have, did I have it like that, maybe? I don't think so. This needs some string in it. And I, oh, this came off of, um, something. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it, but we're going to see. <laughs> it's not going to go through there. I guess it is. Oh, really, I think I want that knot behind there. So, I'm just going to... And that was literally just laying on my desk. From um, something I had taken it off of. can't think what it was now, but, and then, uh, come on, Tim Holtz, huh, <laughs> looks like it's got antenna, that, maybe, that's just a really small little cluster there, but I think that's fine. Let's see if I can get some glue in behind them without disturbing them too much so that I can't find where they, where I wanted them. And this is a snippet from Tim Holtz, Botany. It looks, well, uh, yeah, it's one of those little tiny ones. I can't really read it. But I'm going to hold this while I put some more glue. Oops, at the wrong place, but that's okay. Dab it up. It's going to dry clear. It is clear anyway, so, yeah. Right, let's turn you just a little bit the other way, guy. Okay, so, I 
think, let's see, that's one, two, three, four. Well, I may come back and put one more element on it. Needs it, doesn't it? Okay. I have no idea how long I've been talking or how long this um, video is. It seems to be sticking pretty well. Now, when I put this on the corner of the page, you have so many options with these things. I probably wouldn't put it on this one, but, and I could, you, you know, you can make them even larger. That's a little on the large side to me, but, um, I've made them even larger than that and put one on each corner and that's kind of interesting an interesting look that one probably does not need a um, paper clip but I have not been known to put put them on there as a matter of fact I have one laid out and of course it's probably lost probably gone to Twilight Zone We'll use one of these teeny tiny Tim Holtzes. And you could, in effect, hang a bit off of that. Which I probably will when I decide exactly where I want it. And let's see where our other one was. We've already got a paper clip on it. Let's see what we have in the... See about this one. I don't think I can go the other way. Well, yes, I think that's quite lovely, and we might just put some paper clip like that. I don't mind that, I don't believe. Okay. Well, evidently that rascally camera turned off on me. But here is what we got done. Got the belly band. I'm just going to go through here and, and find a place for it. And then we have our, our double-sided corner tugs. And um, I'm not going to do this on camera. I'll find it in a minute. But I did want to show you this one because this is the, the solid blue one that I did not cover. Um, and I just got my nail file. And this is blue. And just rubbed it down. And I think now it looks like an old pair of jeans, doesn't it? So I think that turned out right pretty. And really, they all did. That one's got three elements. This one has four. So this is one I might put another one on. And then this is good to go, I think. So that's it for now. And I'm going to work on another video uh, here in a minute. Uh, because I thought I had footage here and I didn't. So... Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, like, uh, share if you have friends that like this kind of thing, and um, subscribe if you haven't already. You know, the mandatory begging at the end <laughs> of each video. So, take care, stay well. Hugs and kisses. Until next time. Bye-bye.